Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a review and final diagnosis on my very own 0055 Frunk. Now these videos are a little bit interesting because I'm the only one that has this knife and uh, so it's just sort of my overall thoughts on the process of making this knife and how I feel about it now that I've had it now for a, a few months and enjoyed it and used it. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of go through that and take it, take what you will from this video. So what is this? This started life as the standard ZT0055. I have that unboxing video on my channel. That knife came with this very unique blade and handle configuration, but it was all boring gray stone wash. And so that wasn't good enough for me. Uh, and so I sent it off to be customized. I had a reveal video initially uh, after I got it back from my buddy Andrew at Fanatic Edge. And even since then, it's been remodified since then, again, by Fanatic Edge. So we'll go through all of those details. So let's go ahead and break this knife down anatomically so we know what we're looking at. Up front is the 3.75-inch blade of, of S35VN. Um, this one, uh, originally, I sent it to a Andrew, and he did a nice wicked edge on it. However, there was an issue. There was a bit of a recurve here as the blade transitioned from this flat to that flat, and he admitted that he had sort of made a mistake there. And in a really nice move, he volunteered to fix it free of charge. Now, people pointed out that the blade was a little bit messed up and they gave Fanatic a hard time. But what I want to emphasize is the fact that he is willing to stand behind his work. This is a guy that's full-time military with a full-time job. And he does this on the side for, just for fun. So <clears throat> it didn't come back perfect the first time. So he reached out to me and he said, send it to me right away. I want to fix it. I want to make it look right. And uh, I'll, I'll throw in a little something extra for your troubles. And so not only did he fix the edge, they're now perfectly flat, perfectly consistent, and perfectly straight, and incredibly friggin' sharp. He also did a refinish on the blade. He did a satin finish on the flats to get rid of all that billboarding. And then he did an acid stone wash on the primary bevel and on the swedge there. And it just gives it an overall, really just a more cohesive look, like it's a full custom knife. It takes away any indication that it's a full production knife, and it's super, super nice. I love the way it works. The blade has honestly been much better after it was sharpened. It came relatively sharp, <clears throat> but a little bit thick behind the edge there, and giving it a sharper angle there. This is down to 17 degrees per side on the wicked edge. It cha totally changes the character of the knife. Now it breaks down boxes with ease. I'm actually enjoying food prep with this knife because when you hold it like this, your fingers don't even cut the cutting board. You can actually get that, that front edge down on your cutting board before your fingers touch. And so it actually works nicely in the food prep area, which is surprising. At first it was a little bit clunky like that, but now that it slices so well, I've enjoyed it in that regard. Moving back, we've got a, it runs on the KVT ball bearing system, and most notably, it's got this SLT flipper tab system. So what do I think of the SLT flipper tab system after a few months of carry and use? I love it. I, the novelty of this thing simply has not worn off. Uh, it just fires like an assault rifle, and I enjoy the way that it feels. Uh, the standard SLT, as it comes from Gustavo Kikini, the custom knife maker who collaborated on this knife, that's a straight piece of metal. And so I can imagine over the course of a day, if you're fidgeting with it a whole lot, it could, be, it could become uncomfortable. Now, I've never handled one myself personally, but what ZT did, they added this little ring <clears throat> with a little jimping at the top, and it makes it super comfortable to just flip it all day. It's not sharp, it doesn't hurt the finger, and so I have really enjoyed it. And again, the novelty of that spring-loaded tab has not gone away. I really enjoy it. And the smoothness of this knife just can't be denied. It really just drops shut beautifully running on those ball bearings and I absolutely love that. So moving back to the handles, of course I've got the frunkified green here going on. Uh, I asked him to do a bright green anodization and then heavy stone wash it and then do a blue over the top of it. He took some of his creative expression and he added some orange peeling and then blued the edges so that it matches the blue backspacer. That blue backspacer is a bit of a pain because it's aluminum so it can't be re-anodized like titanium can um, and it's just aluminum so I, I just wish that they had done something different there but the way that this is executed now really ties it in as, as a cohesive part of the knife and so I can't complain. 
How have, the, how have the handles been in terms of comfort over time? Well, it's quite ergonomic in the hand. When you're holding it in the standard saber grip position right here, it's pretty comfortable. There are really no hot spots going on. Um, I will say that the way that I carry this knife, typically, now I put this in my jeans pocket a lot of the time, and that's not a problem. But when I carry this in the waistband when I'm wearing scrubs at work, this is a bit of a point. And uh, if you've got anything of a spare tire uh, running around your waist like I might have, uh, this is a little sharp and it kind of pokes into that. So it's not the most comfortable thing, but it just wasn't designed for that. And that's kind of where my final diagnosis on the knife originally came in. This was an ugly but brilliant knife because <clears throat> it wasn't truly meant for everyday carry. It was meant for the knife enthusiast who likes uh, design and unique knives. Uh, and it can be carried very well uh, every day if you want to, but it's just not the ideal knife for that. But it makes up for that with its artistic nature and its beautiful design. And so you have to sort of give some and take some. You win some, you lose some here. Uh, this is probably form preceding function. It, it most certainly is, but uh, there is some function going on there. It is comfortable in the hand. Just that sort of spiky part on the back end right there is a little bit much. There are no hot spots. It's very easy to disengage. There is a, uh, a little chamfer there on the other side of the lock bar. Makes it super easy to disengage. There's no lock stick whatsoever, and there never has been. And it's really, really nice. So I, I enjoy the handles. This is not meant for a tactical use. There's no forward finger guard. But it functions just fine, and you can really get your hand up there. There's no limiting factor. Something that's a little bit interesting about some knives, even some of my favorite knives, they have these finger cutouts that actually limit where your fingers are supposed to go. Uh, and actually most knives have something resembling that. I'm bringing out a couple more ZTs, of course. But most knives have these finger cutouts that sort of limit where you're supposed to hold the knife. This one is totally different. You can hold it back here. You can hold it up here. You can do like this. There's no finger cutout for your hands to sort of lock into. So that's a unique thing about the knife. And I do appreciate that. There are a lot of comfortable grips. Pretty much any grip of the knife is going to be okay. This gives you a nice one. Again, with those lack of those finger choils, uh, you can pretty much hold it in any position and you're going to be totally comfortable. No problems whatsoever there. So, uh, what do I think of this knife uh, overall? Well, what is my final diagnosis? My final diagnosis is frunkin' awesome. Why? Because this knife had the potential to be amazing. I really hope that ZT comes out with some sprint runs in maybe a better steel with some anodizing work done on it. Uh, I would also love to see the SLT come out in some uh, factory custom models like the 0392 and the, uh, the 0606 that I just brought out. So uh, we can go ahead and do some size comparisons there on those knives. I can bring these out. The 0392 is three and a half inches. The uh, 0606 is a four inch blade. This slots right there in between them. Uh, I'll bring out my paramilitary two, the perfect size comparison knife right there. Um, how about a uh, Ferrum Forge and Mass Drop Falcon? Just a bunch of random knives here for people to look at. People keep asking me for knives that other people might have. Here's a Hinderer MP1. Can't recommend this knife at all. Anyways, this knife is frunkin' awesome, and I'm super happy with it. I love the journey that this has given me. It, it, it puts a story to the knife. It gives the knife a soul where before it didn't really have a soul. This knife has so much soul in it now, and I absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to give full disclosure here. I just sold this knife. In true frunky fashion, this knife is going off to a new owner. And that's because I put these knives out here on Instagram and on YouTube and people offer me prices that I can't refuse. So this is going to a guy that is super enthusiastic about it. He calls it the green goddess. He says he's going to keep it forever. He's going to share it with his kids. And he couldn't be more excited to get it in his hands. And he offered me an extremely reasonable price that I'd be foolish to say no to. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this customizing job. I know there are some hecklers out there of Fanatic and his work. But I'm going to be putting those guys to the test here shortly with some new customizing jobs. So we'll see how that plays out. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Dr. Frunky. Follow Fanatic Edge and Adam Purvis on Instagram. Click like and subscribe to my channel here. And as always, guys, this is Dr. Frunky saying take care.